2 Timothy 2.15. Think you know this verse? Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Good to have you back, uh, Andrew. Oh, thank you. I hope you're planning to go up to the uh, tent meeting at least once during the next two weeks. Had a couple people ask me about you specifically when I was up there. So... 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. I had to, I had to remind myself, yeah, we're going to go over that afterwards. I had to remind myself where we were two weeks ago. Uh, how were we dividing up la- two weeks ago? Last week, Josh Lancaster, Tim Smith were with us. Tim Schmidt were with us, but uh, two weeks ago, how were we dividing up the scripture to what categories? Who remembers? Yes. The law. Yeah, we talk, looked at the law. Uh, we looked at different genres of uh, scripture. Not all scripture is written the exact same way. And it can be confusing if you're in the poetry section, if you're trying to treat it like the law. If you're in the law section, you're trying to treat it like uh, uh, narrative. So we're going to give you, over the next few weeks, several different genres of uh, scripture and then talk about how we approach them. Right now we're talking about narrative. Just It's sort of a big chunk of biblical text. And it's just the events that happen. Whether it's biographical narrative, events that are focused on a person. In Genesis it focuses on Abraham and then Isaac and, and, and Jacob and Joseph. Or whether it's uh, focused on the kingdom of Israel. Or in the New Testament, the book of Acts, a focus on the Acts of the Apostles. This is all narrative. Now before we continue our study... I want to ask you a a Bible riddle, okay? And then as we get...